The United States is one of the top circumcisers in the world. Rates have historically been around 70 to 80 percent, but circumcision, neonatal circumcision, is declining. <laughs> Hey family, so if you've been following, you know that we are talking about foreskin. And this is the last part of my foreskin series. And I just wanna end with circumcision rates across the globe. So let's start off with the United States. The United States is one of the top circumcisers in the world. Rates have historically been around 70 to 80%. But circumcision, neonatal circumcision is declining and current rates are probably closer to 60%. This is very different from our neighbors to the south of us, Mexico, where circumcision is not routinely performed and rates there are probably less than 10%. Canada, our neighbors up north, are also less likely to be circumcised than in the United States. Rates in Canada vary around 30 to 40%. When we look at Latin America overall, circumcision rates vary by country, but generally they are lower than the United States. In fact, most of the globe has rates lower than the United States with the exception of the Middle East and Sub-Saharan Africa, where circumcision practices are largely based on religious and cultural preferences or beliefs and also the push to decrease the rates of STD and HIV transmission, which circumcision has been shown to reduce the risk of HIV transmission. Individuals in Europe are much less likely to undergo circumcision, where actually circumcision is probably the most controversial there, and rates 20% or less are largely quoted. And circumcision rates across Asia and Southeast Asia tend to be very low, with the exception of Muslim predominant nations, for instance, Indonesia, which is a largely Muslim nation, has circumcision rates around 70 to 80%. Here in the United States, most medical societies, including the American Urologic Association, ultimately leaves the decision to circumcision as a family parent decision, personal choice, with potential benefits, but overwhelmingly not medically necessary for the vast, vast majority of individuals. Hope you learned something. I know I did. Go hit that subscribe button and join me next week for all talk down there with me, your girl, your favorite urologist, right here.